Welcome back to the adventures of, well, not quite Santa, but Santa's son. Yesterday, you right remember, we had a very bad day for the Santa dynasty, for the Claus dynasty. Santa himself became, uh, slipped, hit his head, became incapable, and an imbecile. He shit in the bath, and then his servants drowned him in it. And I wish I was making that up, that's 100% truth. His son, our current character, was then attempted assassination against twice. They tried, what a, what a clumsy sentence. They tried to kill him twice, uh, by filling an infill of manure and then blowing it up. So two slash three shitty assassination attempts, one being a success, I've decided that no longer shall we be the kingdom of, the kingdom of Fat Mora. Instead, we are the kingdom of Scat Mora. <laughs> Oh, it's so irreverent. Poor Santa gets drowned in his own turd and we rename the kingdom after it. It's so fucking good. And once again, we are no longer the Dragonborn, which is just hilarious because I've still... That officially means that I've never still interacted with the Daedric Princes or really played at all CK2 as a Dragonborn. Still never once done it because Santa lasted all of about five minutes until he was literally swimming in shit. Okay, so... Here's the plan. Finish off Scatmora. We fabricated some claims yesterday. We're going for currently Castle Volkahar because I figured that uh, I was originally getting the claim on over here, which was like the the, the the Ghost Sea Traders Guild or something like that, which was uh, look promising until it was swallowed up very, very quickly by the Pale. And then in turn, the Pale was swallowed up very, very quickly by Rakungtunch, who's very angry because all of Skyrim rebelled against him and he broke away. So... This is the third time he's returned, by the way, because of the mechanic I've added to make him return so that he's not just randomly assassinated. So I'm very interested in what happened to the last two Rakung Thunches, but never mind. Um, right, okay. So Winterhold is what we have cleansed on right now. But again, if we try and take that, I have a feeling it's painted a massive target on our back. Bear in mind, Winterhold is Rakung Thunches capital duchy. And I don't really feel like pissing him off right now, given that he is a very angry Dwemer man with 14,000 very angry Dwemer friends. Religion, by the way, is Dwemer. Um, it just doesn't show up for whatever reason, so don't worry about that too much. Okay, so Scout Mora. It's going to get me every fucking time now. Hey, men, hold your ground. No attacking yet. We, we still need one more piety before we can cleanse the undead scourge from our ancestors. Son, man, do not move. Never think of moving. Not until we've got that fucking... Come on, my God. Get out of here. How long does it take to get one piety? Oh, my God, 0 0.38 per month? That's genuinely going to take us, like, another three months. Never mind. Mercy Spoon Liquor Daughter. What a great fucking name. So this is our... Oh, it's our daughter. Um, Mercy Spoon Liquor's daughter. Fucking hell. Um, let's go for... I'm trying to think. What's what's Christmassy? I mean, Holly is an obvious one, right? That's that's a Christmassy name that goes quite well with the theme that we've got going on. There you go. Perfect. Welcome aboard. Ahem. You must attempt to save her. Don't let her die because we need to marry these people up. Speaking of which, I've actually also set up a filter as well so that we can keep track of our dynasty given that we are dropping like very shitty flies. So... We should marry off Rosemary as soon as possible. I want to make sure that the dynasty is staying alive. I'm actually marrying off all the women matrilineally. Avoiding our family members if possible. Um, let's go for a bit now then. Do we have... There's no form of divine marriages there. Um, No, there's not. I feel like I'm going crazy. I feel like that, that normally you can't get this close family marriages going on. Although it's not... No, you can, can't you? Because it's aunt and uncle. Oh, that doesn't matter too much. Right, and then we've also got this guy as well who needs to be married off to... Honestly, I'm just going for genuinely anyone with any sort of inheritable trait who's not related to us at this point. What is that? Lucky? Oh, wow. I forgot that was a random trait. Thank God it's nothing like the lucky trait from the uh, from the Horse Lord series we were doing. Let's go for... No elves. Get out of here. Um, she's... Let's spot, yeah, she's 12 and fertile. That's not too bad. I want someone kind of roughly his age, though, if you don't mind. Um... Kind of it. 24. She'll do. She's also smart. Fine. Absolutely perfect. There we go. So it's everyone on our dynasty married off to at least someone with a good inheritable trait, including the, the women as well. Obviously married off matrilineally. Oh, God. She was unsuccessful in her treatment. Oh, 250. Men, we can attack now. The, the zombie horde that's been plaguing our ancestors, we're fine. We can now finally have the means to attack them because we're holy enough. Do it. How many men to got? 947. I think we've got this one in the bag. To be honest, we can probably just call in our allies and have them do it for us. But for the time being... You know, I'm, I'm, I'm alright. We need to stretch our feet a little bit, don't we? We need to get this guy some, uh, some combat experience. Hopefully we can see some of the leadership traits as well. One other reason I want this guy leading armies is so that we can assume Santa's mantle, as I hinted at yesterday. Assume the mantle of Santa and allow the spirit of Christmas himself to take control of his body. We can return him. We can return shitty Santa to the body of his shitty son. How do we do that again? <laughs> There's not, not, you know, it's the, the Elder Kings, you know how it be. Uh, it's very confusing. A prestige, 1500. Favor, 500. Then we need one, uh, 15 in one of each of the stats. Uh, in one of the stats, I should say. So we need to have at least some skill there. Santa Spirit does not already exist in the world. That's to stop you abdicating Santa out and then playing as another Santa plan that I'm never going to release this one. It was for my benefit uh, to stop me 
thinking of breeding a center army. I'm, uh, you gotta, sometimes you've got to remove a little bit of power from your own hands, huh? Anyway, uh, let's get over to Isgard or Isin, or what are they called? Isun, that's it. This, this should take no time at all. Take these guys out, then... We've already got this person vassalized. Then we can take these guys out in probably simultaneous wars. Does it actually... It, oh my god, it takes the Pisces to launch the Inquisition. We get 100 back there for victory, don't we, if it's standard Holy War. Oh, look at this guy. Windle, the Treasury Guard of Scatmora. Battlefield Terrain Master Level 1, Holy Warrior, Desert Expert, Inspiring Leader, and Inspiring Leader. My god, impressive stuff there. Um, Nord as well. I feel like the traits are a little bit... No, they're not, though, are they? Because our traits are the same, aren't they? Yeah, I, I, like, there's some weird traits going on here, okay? I mean, given everything we've got going on, I'm actually genuinely surprised he's even running. I don't know the traits are in the right order. Okay, I feel like we should win this. Um, why can't... I was going to say we've got a better, better commander, is that right? Can we also balance this? Not quite. Um, so we're actually leading the subunit. Let's also swap him out as well. Let's really min-max this. There we go. 13, 30, 13, 20. With our allies coming in too, this should be uh, kind of guaranteed. I don't know, really, because we don't have a bright flank, and they quite clearly do, because they've got three different units there. Good luck. They are just skeletons, though, and we've seen from our own experience that skeletons are complete shit. Speaking of which, we should summon more skeletons at some stage before I forget, because they are basically just free troops. Uh, let's do that very quickly before I completely forget. Uh, summon undead. Oh, shit, you need 25 piety to summon undead? What does that make any sense? Dude, I'm a, I have to be a pious man before I can profane the bodies of my, my, my brothers and sisters and ancestors. Never mind. Uh, Rukungtunch, what? King Rukung... Oh, he's got a fancy hat. Very nice. To the resolute son of Skyrim, Spoonlicker. Please accept my compliments. Thank you. We offer you the safe release of Nakrim non tel Sarah for the modest sum of 10 gold. Who is he? I don't know. I need that 10 gold. You can get fucked. I love Rakun Tunch's hat, though. Very nice. That's good. I'm, gl I'm glad he's making a... How many wives has he gone through? That's better. Qu oh, Jesus. Four wives already. What's the last year, Rakun Tunch? Can we see in the history? There we go. Rakun the first that turned into the old white man, as people pointed out. He must have used some of the... T so, obviously, in the... Uh, in the Outer Kings mod, there is transformation magic, so you can randomly transform yourself into... I don't believe the AI can do it, so it must have just been a glitch. Um, Kung Tunch, the money pincher. So, the first time he died, he was slain by a man in personal combat. Again, this is exactly why I added this system. A man with zero personal combat somehow... Actually, probably had more than that, but he had the Kanat and few, and also he's dead. Um, somehow defeated Rakung Tunch, who currently sits at 100 and... Oh, 53? Oh, shit, the bloodlines aren't working, huh? That's okay. That's fine. Uh, second Rakungtunch, slain by Baron Nevit, a random Dwemer man with just the world's worst haircut right there. And then Rakungtunch, third. Uh, it's all the same man, by the way. They've all got the same traits. They're the same backstory, same culture, same gold, same everything. Uh, he's just basically brought back from the dead with some with some script in there. Uh, like I said, the Dwemer have control over time, so we can just reverse it if he knows he's about to die. This kid's okay. Prolific, Dragonblood. Um, Kaltha. We need a more Christmassy name than that. Let's go for... Uh, how about Nick? We haven't had a Nick yet. In honor of Santa. What do you mean we already... We, we did already name a kid in honor of Santa, remember? When we had Shit Drinker. They, now we're just going to call you Nick. Um, I feel like I have to uh, almost, you know, double barrel all of the names now. So we've got Nick. And what else is Santa called? Like Chris. Nick, Nick, Chris, Spoon Lickerson. Welcome. Oh, for fuck's sake. How does this keep happening? Oh my god, we're a lunatic, aren't we? My god, this took no time at all. Since the incident some weeks ago, I felt uneasy. I took a walk along the coast to clear my mind and found a small village where people claim to worship the old ones. The old ones, of course, do actually exist in uh, the Outer Kings universe. The, the brothers, uh, what is it? The Brotherhood under Hacta, if you remember in Oblivion, have the weird book. They have the book um, Angasta Kavata Kavakis, written by whatever his name is. I don't remember now. Um... The slowed fella, you know the one from uh, from Redguard. Redguard, it is Redguard. Uh, they also worship over here as well in the Republic of Key, uh, a creepy octopus man. But that one's more supposedly uh, Mayrun's. I, th I think it's supposed to be Hermes Mora, isn't it? Yeah, they're coming in known as Hermes Hermes Mora, Shagrath, Bermuda, and Octonoma Fala. So that one, although it is called literally the Cult of Cthulhu, is Daedra. This is more of. I don't know if it was ever explained what the weird creepy beast under Hector was, because you guys. Sure, I'm preaching quite a little bit here, but but during that quest, um, or a kind of mini quest, I guess, in Hacta, when you steal their book, you sleep in the inn. In that cave, there's a unique troll variation sound that only exists in that cave. Anyway, haha, <laughs> oblivion, am I right? Intense study of the Grimoire has gained much knowledge. I advised Ritual to make it the most powerful. I love that I can't remember what I did sort of like 10 minutes ago when I'm playing Rimworld, but I can remember shit like that. Anyway, old ones where they slept, dead but dreamy. In a water tomb beneath the open, the cult has prepared the ritual of tyrants, gathering the necessary sacrifices. Gain one learning. John Spoon, like the nice, puts on a black robe and a wizened old hat. The cult is gathered for the ritual on the shore in the black and stormy sea. The chanting begins. Plunglui mknalaflaf. And that's actually how you say it, by the way. It helps if you have, a, like, a real thick West Country accent. Plunglui mknalaflaf. 
And in the depths of the dark waters, something stirs. He comes, he comes. We can die. We can die. No, I'm not losing any more characters. I refuse. What have I done? I must stop this. You done spoon licking the nice of Scatmora. Commandeers, a longboat. This is for Santa, you bitch. I steer the longboat through the raging waters towards the monstrous creature. It stood tall as a castle to just this filthy, fucking disgusting, filthy slug creature. Ramming speed. And my wife, by the way, is suffering from... <laughs> my lord, sorry, if you could stop the boat a second, our fucking core physician turns up alongside us. My lord, to your wife, I'm afraid. She, she cannot digest meals. Terrible. Terrible. Call for the court physician. I awoke in my own bed, weak and sweating. The servants told me they had found me on the shore, naked and half drowned. I asked about the creature in the ship, and they just looked at me with worried eyes and shook their heads. I am the only living witness to these events. Put them to print. Game one learning and 100 prestige. Or, fools, I saved you all. Killed an old one. Giving the following effects. Martial plus three, entry plus two, and personal combat skill plus ten. I think that's way cooler than writing a fucking But What am I, a nerd? <laughs> well, who's this guy, anyway? Um, Gorish John Spoonlicker. Fake Croesus Dotter for the modest sum of ten. Um... Oh, she's actually a relative of mine. Oh, he's a bloody vassal of... Oh, there it is, a Solitude Merchant League. That was what I was talking about. This Breton-led Merchant League in Solitude under the Dwemer. Of course. Uh, Brant's moving that moron girl to Santa's son. Welcome to Crusader Kings. Sure, absolutely. I'll, I'll pay for her. Because, again, we want to marry our family members off. Make sure that this dynasty is prolific and powerful. Goodbye. That's the last of what technically was the Frozen Horde before they weren't allowed to call themselves kings anymore. Because, you know, they had no land. Okay, look at that. Scatmora is almost unified. Now, I'm not going to go to war for these guys yet. Again, we're going to be very careful about, uh, firstly, closing our fucking spell book. I need to check what province modifiers we can do. I was only check the character modifiers, never the province ones. Make sure we cleanse evil first before we go on any more incursions, inquisitions, expeditions, whatever other things that end initions, premonitions of me losing this game. Cleanse evil. We actually didn't gain any favor back either. Fuck her. That's going to take so long before we can declare provinces for Skalaheim and Skynorn. Okay. Um... Fine, whatever. We'll just let it we'll let it happen. I really should keep some troops raised. Oh, I know how we'll stop the skeleton uprising, stopping us killing skeletons. That's right. Let's summon some fucking skeletons. Uh oh, we can only summon a lesser version now. Huh? Have we not got that much mana? 18 out of 46. Oh, maybe we could only just summon a Oh, because we're a ship mage. No, we, we were ever summoned the greater version before. Maybe it's like a full blown 48 mana or something like that. I would love it if shipbuilding also gave a naval penalty reduction. A naval maintenance penalty reduction. So, cheaper boats, basically. I think that'd be a lot nicer. Uh, military organization, though, gives access to buildings and, of course, gives the other bonus as well. Supply limit, land organization, moral of armies. And, importantly, retinues. I haven't even checked retinues this time, see so if we've got access to any. Light infantry, heavy infantry, mage guard, light cavalry, heavy recovery. Oh, we've got reindeers. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Um, right, so we could summon some reindeers as well here. So, what have we got? We've got vanguard, scouts, berserkers, and artillery. Um... Vanguard being a light infantry, scouts being... Oh, sorry. Vanguard being your light cavalry there. Um, scouts being light infantry, heavy infantry, and then heavy cavalry as well. Bonuses are massive, but you've got to bear in mind the retinue cap usage is dynamically generated, so they are really expensive. They are balanced. Let's put it that way. Um, we could afford one retinue, to be fair, of reindeer... Of reindeer scouts. What's that? 210? What's this one? There's 31. Really? Okay. So give me them retinue scouts then, boy. Oh, my God. Castle Volkahar. 12.4 gold. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we, we do want to go for Volkahar. I am actually going to wait until we've dealt with the all of the skeleton cleansing first. Give away these tiles. Then we will... Oh, shit, we're stressed. 30% chance of losing it. Nothing. Okay, fair enough. And then we'll go for it. Because, I, like I said, I don't think I ever see Volkahar get uh, vassalized or taken by... Serana died. Vanished without a trace. Oh, shit. Um, I, I never see Volkahar get vassalized by Skyrim. I don't know if there's just a, an event preventing them from doing it. Maybe they just can't push digital claims on Volkahar, something like that. But this might be a very nice little point for us to attack into Skyrim from. Oh my god, these guys are still around. We sent our, if you remember, we actually sent our priest over there to try and shut this down. Why has he got an entire duchy for that? Oh, you know, he's targeting the duchy. Right, okay. So got more on the, yeah, for, for the, the duchy of his son there. Right, we need to stop this. Last thing we want is skeletons and more like Bell kicking our, oh, we're fine. Okay, well, never mind then. Okay, so I believe these two are already cleared. Oh, so his son and Brotengard. Are fine. We're just waiting on his guard now to clear off. These two were, were basically simultaneous. This one's taking a very, very long time, though. Oh, for fuck's sake. I keep saying, oh, my God, it's Santa. Um, so what are we lacking, then? Let's take on the mantle of Santa. Let's close the spellbook. Take a quick look. Um, we need the 1500 prestige, which we're obviously very close to, but the favor is a lot more tricky. Um, obviously, because we're getting our ass handed to us by... Or the, the amount of wars that we're declaring here, and it's, it's just annihilating our... Piety. Oh, we can develop more ruins. Nice, nice. Can we do that in Yilkafik? Uh, develop some ruins. Get that capital built. So that obviously gives a whole bunch of bonuses there as well. A nice passive bonuses to it. Look at that. 
Tax modifier, 20% garrison size, siege defense. We need to... I, I do need to focus on channeling more gold into Yelkafik. You know, I'm not going to make Volkar the capital or anything. Just more like a beachhead for the time being. Oh, wow. Our tax credits in Broingard have reported that the richest port now... Oh, wow. Have... <laughs> thanks. Thanks, Evan. Very cool. Okay, so this one already has runes. Oh, it's got moderate runes. Wow, we might actually want to keep this one. I need to double check because apparently that icon is completely missing. Um, advanced excavations. Oh, my God. Shit. What have we got here? Advanced excavations. There's loads of them. I'm actually genuinely quite surprised at how many there are. Advanced excavations. My God. How are we not... How are we not rich as all fuck with all of this coming in? Oh, well. Um, sure. What do we have here? Come on, artifact. Steel sword was not really what I was after when we got Valerian steel, but that's okay. Um... Can we can we can sell it right? It is right click sell artifacts. Yeah, I remember. It, I know it's been a while since we played. This hasn't really been that long at all, has it? What was it? What was the last series we played in the Outer Kings? Was that the Imperial one? No idea. Don't remember. Sell it. Get rid of it. Uh, it's a deal. Ten gold. And we should also sell this Nordic Mantle since we've got slate near. I feel like the the other horse is a bit. What's that? Oh, right, because it's not actually technically. Oh no, it is mount. They, they do occupy the same slot then. That's cool. Um, right, so sell artifacts. Let's sell off the Nordic Mountain Horse. Goodbye, my friend. 50 gold. Shit. I'll take that. Okay. You'll fit. You're getting some upgrades then, my boy. Uh, Tony Market Town seems worthwhile to obviously try and get some more tax based buildings. So that takes us up to, get ready for this, plus one whole gold per month from our capital. I know. If we invite an undead to our court and they have an artifact and then we destroy them, we'd get their artifact, right? Uh, no. No, we actually don't. Oh, no, we did. Holy shit. It's because that guy popped up at the same time. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I'm inviting a load of people to our court. I don't intend on killing all of them, but if they die in our court, obviously we get their stuff. It's 10 gold. Free 10 gold. I'll take it. Make an offering. I feel like we probably should do that, shouldn't we? And we can't... Oh, we can't sell this petrodeath because we're cynical. Hopefully, this will give us the last sort of 80, 70 uh, piety we need to... Come on. 30 favor. We're so close to being able to take the mantle of Santa, right? It's just the piety we need now. Uh, yeah, it is. Oh, my God. Santa. You will return. We will bring you home, my friend. Oh, God. Do we want to bring Santa back to this? Oh, come on. What is it with this fucking... Hang on. We're in, we're in magic land. They might be able to cure it. In fact, we could probably cure ourselves in hindsight. Come on. Do it. Oh, thank you. Holy shit. I'm really not... <laughs> <laughs> this game is, is just in to end this series. And oh my god, it's probably because we're torturing the dab that kill me. I says as I throw yet another mod in down its down its fat gullet. Uh give me oh my god. Give me a what do I look for? Santa. Give me a Santa. Oh, we're still not. 487 How long does it take? Still 0.54 a month. Okay, it might take some time. Is there anything else we can do to gain any sort of small amount of piety? Triple festival. People want it? 50 gold. No, they don't. Um that's it. That's it. How's Ty Perceptor doing? Let's check up on the, uh, let's check up on the Cyrodiilic Empire. He seems to have flipped religion. Uh, oh, Cyrodiilic Revolt. Sorry, my bad. And then Cyrodiilic Empire. Right, so he's actually fighting the Kamal, uh, what is it? The Divine Winds? Five Winds? Some shit like that? Four Winds. One Wind over. He's not having a very good time of it. Not only that, but of course he is a eunuch, so he's just gonna die without, without issue. Which means that Torvar Six Fingers will inherit the entire Empire. Hope you're ready for that, Torvar Six Fingers, because that looks to be a, uh, pretty fun fight. Honestly, I don't think they're actually going to be able to form the Empire of, of, of Cyrodiil or anything like that. Um, I know they've got the Cyrodiilic Empire, but it's not the same thing as it has only in all of, of Cyrodiil there. Um, King Aurelius, he's also in a really good position. If anyone's going to fight Tyre this guy seems pretty good. How are the Clovian Estates doing as well? Um, King Bantius the Necromancer of House Bosna. He's actually a Necromancer. You're not wrong. Okay, he's also another good character. He's got a real fine hand system. I kind of feel a bit bad for old Kjalti. Many months later, I think we can actually summon him back. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? It fucking work. We're about to be in Santa. I didn't actually check that. So that's actually a big... That's a, <laughs> I can't believe it. There he is. No longer. Are we spoon licker than nice? I should have an awesome asset change his name as well, huh? No longer. Are we spoon licker than knife? He returns. Back again. For round two. S Santa. What was his name before? Like, Vice Lord, Admiral, whatever. Honorable Speaker Santa. I don't fucking remember. Um, he did gain the fat trait as well. Santa is truly well back here. Okay, we're going to call you instead. Santa, what, what's, what's this guy had that's defined him? Uh, last Santa drowning shit. This guy just smells of it. So I'm going to call you Smelly Santa. Smelly Santa Spoon Licker. Ah, there we go. So we can summon the largest version of the Under Army now. 40 Magicka for 3,700 troops. I didn't realize they scaled. Wait, no. Wait, th those are undead. What the fuck are these then? I was going to say that they don't scale, do they? Uh, are these just levies? No. I think they actually might just be some bonus troops we got given there. What the fuck is that? Scat Moron Company. 100, 800. What's this center one then? 
Uh, we can't split anything off. They are all event spawned. Okay. Hey, not complaining about that at all. We seem to have ended up with some actual good, uh, undead warriors as well. I want you all, though, to have a 4,000-man standing army as... I mean, coming up from nothing there, that's quite nice. Bear in mind, these aren't the, the characters that Santa started with or anything like that. Okay, then. So, Skynorn is... Let's close the spellbook here. Skynorn is next on my kill list. I'd love to send those attributes if we can conquest him. What do we lose for that? Nothing. Uh, yeah, nothing. We actually just gain things. Obviously, the Inquisition is all well and good. We get some moral authority, but we don't really want it because it's animism. Uh, can we reform the religion? No. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Damn, that would have been good. Um, all right, so... What was I looking at again? Right, right, right. Cast a spell against this guy. And then we want to take these out. I mean, we could just sure claim them. What, what's that, what's going to give us the most along with the land? That one lose 500 prestige, so definitely not. I just guess we conquest him, huh? That one would become his new lead, so I'm not doing that one. Yeah, fuck it. Conquest and then declare war. Conquest. Then we could call all our allies in simultaneously. Don't think we'll need it. Bear in mind, we've got 4,000 men stood there. We should be fine. Smiley Santa on the center. Smiley Santa, king of Scatmora. We've got his good friend, Burechel. Broch. That thing, those letters, that was called High and Scrabble. And then Alabar. Um, Fjoli instead, Grethnal. There, it's all the, uh, I guess that norm, uh, more names are in dragon tongue. Because Grethnal definitely sounds like that, huh? Same with Croesus as well. Croesus is actually one of the dragon priests in, uh, Great Dragon. Yeah, it's one of the dragon priests, isn't it? In Skyrim. Don't remember. Oh, well, doesn't matter too much. Okay. You get out. Oh, Cole. Cole, what have you done? He had a babby formed. Um, actually, to be fair, we should be also marrying off our dynasty. I completely forgot about that one. We'll do that in a second. We'll deal with these bloody undead minions first. This, my friends, is the unification of Scatmora. Get the fuck out of here. Deal. Shut up a minute. Right, here we go. Final province. Tangmo, once again, the Kanat and Flu has come back again. Boom. There it is. Keep it, keep it paused. We've done it. Scatmora with this incredibly loud music in the background. I'm so impressed. I, I, we've actually done something good here today, besides just die and drown in our own shit. We do obviously need to cleanse it. We, are, we haven't not quite completely cleansed the provinces of Scatmora. That's it, though. It, these two are the final... These two... Oh, no, shit. This guy's still... Still! Wow. So we've got three provinces that are still infested with dragon. I'm going to split the army in half. We'll keep... Uh, let's split this one down as well. Move the 367 over there. Keep our best commanders on this one. Let's also balance it. Keep Santa on that one. Oh, Skynorn's already done with. Okay, I was going to say split it and... Uh, Send half over to there as well, but that's okay. Nice. That's it. We've now just got to wait for these last of these promises to clear. And then Atmora is once again unified under the glory of Santa. Ralpuff? Ral Ralpa? Ralpa Door Slammerson, my friend. You get some... Oh, I, want to, I want to start giving it to actually your high martial characters instead now. Um, we've, got, we've got a nice mix already of stewardship characters in there. So I want to go for some high martial characters as well. That way we're getting both uh, the bonuses of troops and gold. Who cares about diplomacy really or intrigue or anything like that? Seems like the worst type of character to land. Oh, I didn't realize we had Moraheim. Give that one away too then. So that, that one's purged. The only one I don't want to give away is this guard. So his son can also go to somebody here. Um, pigs and blankets. I'm not going to give it to you. Jorah, are we allowed to, allowed to land women? Okay. Uh, she might just not be in our realm. That's also the case. Um, right, so this guard is one we can't give away. What's this one called again? Um, his son. For you, my friend. Efficient. I want to make these borders look nice too. I'll give this whole duchy over here at Scalaheim away when we finally cleanse the evil. Because I'm pretty sure the AI don't really try and pursue it very often. <gasps> oh my god. I don't think I've ever had this before, have I? It's so red. So, so is it lunatic can go one of two ways? It either becomes possessed or... No, it's the other way around. Possessed becomes either lunatic or nothing. And the lunatic can just disappear. It's too quiet. We have regained control of our senses. That the head that he hit many, many in his last life, in his last body, uh, he, he hit his head, obviously, became a drooling idiot. That, that inherited down to his son, and now he is healed. Took many, many years. And, and the healing of Atmora, too. It's a metaphor, you see. When Atmora, when Scatmora thrives, so does Santa. Oh my god, is that Raccoon Thunch's... Look at that patchwork blanket that was Skyrim. Oh shit, okay, hang on. So if we attack, oh, now's the time to attack. How could I not? So Volkahar, well, you got the choice then of Volkahar, or we still have claims on uh, Kastav, and I believe it was Banner Watch, or like Morvenskar, something around here. Um, either way, I mean, pff, I don't really want to, oh, we have Winterhold, though, and Winterhold's actually independent. Ooh, that could be tempting. Um, just grab up Winterhold out of nowhere. Probably better than Volkahar, but again, it does paint quite a large target on about, bear in mind, that's two provinces away from Eltand under Rakuntunch, and Rakuntunch is pretty mad. Pretty mad at us, and also pretty mad just in general that, that, People are fucking off like this. Constantly rebelling Nords. I'm pretty sure he's had enough of them. Let alone other almost Nords coming from almost Skyrim. I think I'm going to go for... <laughs> Solitude Merchantly. There it is again. I think I'm going to go for Volkahar. 
I just think, it, it, is it a much bigger fortress as well? You kind of assume it was very well upgraded too. Castle Volcar Fortification actually comes with its own fortifications too. Ominous Towers, Impermeable Walls, a fortified gate and an intricate network of internal defenses protect what is one of Tamriel's most formidable castles. That sounds like what I want here. And we've also got a temple too. The Volcar Cathedral has a shrine of Molag Bell. That's quite cool. Um, man, it's quite well upgraded, isn't it, Volcar? How many troops you got? 2,100. That could be difficult to take. And it's not connected by... Is it connected by straight crossing to the mainland? Because if not, that might explain why they never bother taking it. It's not, is it? Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, there is a port on it, too. So that's... Uh, sorry, what's it called? The Ice Water Jetty. The very famous, very powerful Ice Water Jetty. Literally just a plank in the ocean. Let's go and... Let's go and grab it. Can we? And the question is, do we want to hire mercenaries? Uh, let's sort my total cost here. See what's the cheapest boy per month. Uh, to be fair, we can get, like, 1,800 troops for 11 gold per month. That's not too bad. Uh, just because I'm... Whoa, that Moran Band is very cheap. Friend is very true. Oh, raised? Whoa, 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 it's ours? We've got them as vassalized? How long has that been? Ah, oh, shit. We've been able to raise these guys for half the price for ages, and I had no idea. Oh, my God. Absolutely. Friend debtor, join us. Welcome. Get on the boats. Get on the boats so you don't starve to death, because that makes perfect sense. And then we'll, we'll let the rest of our troops join us. Then I will also put the retinues on there as well. Uh, not the retinues, sorry. The uh, levies as much as possible here. I think we're going to need every hand we can get, especially if there is no straight crossing. We're going to have to boat bomb into an army half our size, which is very dangerous, seeing as boat bomb is like minus 50% to all of your stats going off the bat here. Oh, fuck off. Pezza Revolt in Skalheim, and it's bloody Draugr. Um, Fine, we'll, we'll sail over there and go and crush those guys very quickly. I imagine the attrition is going to be appalling. Is it? Actually, we don't even need to raise our... We got 47 boats and 4,500 men to fill them. We don't, really don't need that. Right, drop, fly fast, fly fast. Don't let them it. Fuck. Oh my god, these undead. They actually drive me mad. This is why I want to kind of wait for this to be done first before we attack Volkahar, but I want to push the advantage while Skyrim is splintered so much. Uh, oh, there we go. Finally, we convert them away from Morlag Bal to, to animism, which is good. No more of this shit. Now that means they watch narrative quite a lot. Oh my god, did you see that attrition tick? We lost half our army there. Well, okay, now we've definitely lost half our fucking army. God damn it, really? All right. Um, now we can't fight Volkahar. Brilliant. Okay, well, let's sit and let those guys reinforce for a bit. Uh, I thought we... Sorry, I thought we converted that. What's going on there, huh? Oh, my God. Was that a different province? Wait, did he convert it from, like, Draugr? Unless there were more than one... Maybe he converted, like, a Draugr province. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right. This is, this is not going to happen, is it? This is not just not going to happen. The game does not want to let me leave. We've got to have these peasant rods against these goddamn zombies that I feel like I've thoroughly crushed at this stage. Pat the kitty, allow the... Kick the fucking kitty. Get out of here. Oh, no. Destiny. It's all coming together. Hindsight's 50-50. Uh, all sight is now 50-50, given that we're missing a fucking eye. Okay, well... I mean, it, it suits the Santa. It's just like history. It has to repeat itself, right? And there we go. They've cancelled once again the fucking... This is this province here. I don't know why it's taking an inordinate amount of time to cleanse it of the undead. We've had it for so long. Get roasted. Skalaheim is gone. So what are we waiting on now then? So it's just it's still that same fucking province of Iskand. If I knew any better, I'd say it was fucked. But obviously it's it's just purely random. So Rosemary Claus died of the plague. Christmas is fucking cancelled. What the hell? Well, Merry Christmas, everyone. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and just make sure very quickly with filter. Oh, shit, there's loads of them that's unmarried. I think a lot of these guys aren't at our court, though, and we can obviously kind of invite them over. It's down to them to, to, to keep this dynasty alive by their own accord. Uh, you can get married off, though. Who have we got in our court? He'll do. 27. He's got appealing. Dirty Reachman, though. All right, fine. Whatever. He'll do. Um, and then Lund Lundga? Lunda Door Slammer's daughter. We can't marry her. She's not in our court. Holly Smelly's daughter. She, we can marry off. Uh, matrilineal, preferably. Oh, God. I hope that wasn't a guy I married off matrilineal. I wasn't even thinking about it. Storn? Prior of Iskramshal. That sounds like a, like a good marriage. How many members of house calls are there? 37. That's so good. I'm actually genuinely quite impressed that we propagated that far. Oh, my God. At long last. That's the cult of Molag Bal. Oh, there we go. Your efforts against the dark and natural force of playing the world. What are we called? The, the, the nice... Nah. Call me the lion. Call me the lion. That's, that's so much better. Smelly Santa Claus is now known as the lion. That means that Abmora is now fully purged of the undead scourge. It is now fully animism and Abmoran once again. What a challenge. We, we've actually... That's, that's the first total really overcome. We've got us have a very, very strong kingdom of our own here, which we can obviously develop over quite a fair period of time. Absolutely not. We'll have to develop over a fair period of time, but now we can start raiding without fear of our own people. No, thank you. Without our own people rising up on us, without our vassals going into rebellion, without, you know, zombies and whatever else calling from the underground. We are safe. This means we can finally push our freaking claim on Volkahar.
Karim also raged again by the Kanatan flu. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Well, the Kanatan not the enemy of Rayman in Rayman, uh... What was that one where he got the fist upgrades? Uh... Sure, somebody must remember. You fight a guy called Reflex, and then these big invincible people in a cave. I don't remember. Anyway, not important. What is important is we need to get in full war mode, ready to fight Harkon, our biggest enemy so far. Honestly, Yonosuke, big coward. So let's start working on a bit of a war economy here. So let's build up. Oh, we can't train raiders. Oh, because we're few. No, we're not feudal. Huh? <laughs> oh? I actually have no idea. Have you guys seen the video of the Morrowind man where they replace all the sounds in Morrowind with the sound? Okay. Um, how do I do it then? Train troops. Raid organized. Yeah, there it is. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so let's move that one there. We can't uh, obviously build legend, build zeal, or anything like that either by the looks of it. Um, that's impressed. Piety gained. Cultural tech. What about prosthetics and apostates? Uh, yeah, nothing. Vampire and werewolf fund. Oh, that's a really cool use of that system. I like that a lot. Um, we'll have you performing charities to impress our vassals then. Um, you study tech. We'll see if we can get in some of those Dwemer secrets. What the hell's going on down here? Where is Rakungtunch and where is his cap? What the fuck has happened? Pra Where's his capital? Oh my god, he's all the way down in Arquind. That oh, seems appropriate. That's still Dwemer. Okay. Um, I sent him to the wrong province. Oh, I think I actually did... Oh, yeah. Slightly the wrong province. It doesn't really matter too much. It's all very similar tech. Okay. Uh, now, we've just got to build ourselves up ready to take... Obviously, Arquind had, what, like 4,000 men? Um, or 2,000 men, and we oh, are obviously going to poke bomb into him, which is not ideal. We've got the troops we can raise when we want. The Atmoran Band will add another 2,500 men to our retinue. Let's save this for next time. So I imagine that's going to be a pretty big step to gaining a good beachhead on Skyrim. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. It's been a pretty big one for the dynasty. It's been a big one for Scatmora as well. Unified, again, for the Atmoran people. No longer Yonosuke, the Ice King, and those frozen, fr frozen, frozen, awful, nasty zombie men. Thank you. Hope you guys have liked it. Big shout out to the Insane Top Tale of Fetch. Thank you for the possible in the first place. Thank you to Alchemia, Anthony Gorley, Sunni Kurtz, Moses, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Valak Strongbow, Ben Hoffman, Chesty, Croesus, Donald, Fagunna Vasquez, Gogolus, Harry McGowan, Iguana Squad, James Shea, Jonah Waters, Justin Wallace, Kenny Carter, Michael Mullen, Muskratful, Nostrus, Necrophil, and Pelvis, Presley, <laughs> Paul, Rodin, Scott, Skaz, Slippy Nips, Somnus, Shea, The One Ring, Tom Terry, Team, Troy, Tyler Kendall, Tyler McClan, Bacchus, Bacchus, Varagon, and Will and Green. Thank you guys for your support the insane tier levels on Patreon. Much appreciated. And a thank you as well to Uwu Daddy, Asro, Anna Person, Adrian Elliott, and Andrew Walsh, Andrew Wilson, Anka, Attila, Betamus, Max, Best Valerian, Blood for the Blood God, Boing Gun, Chris Corgi Circa, Stapa Go, Don, Don Conning 217, Emerald Beam, Foosh, Gabriel Van Der's, Gaz, Genji Circa, Gothamo, Grey, Haji Dumar, I'm Sagatair, Irotha, I See the Great, Jackson P, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, Jason Sushu, Jose, Jeebus Crust, Yoran DeVries, Jessica Smith, Jobs Lucky Sister, Jilly Bondle, Joseph Beer, Justin Plock, Justin Rules, Justin Waters, Kevin Saunders, Lieutenant Dan, Lepus, and Lepus, Luan and Thomas, Luke Wallace, Manuel Bossich, Mustolp, Monty, Mercy Sampson, my name isn't Dio, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Organized Confusion, Pan Samu, Panther Pearl, Peyton Dennis, Rush Nolagart, Billionaire, Brian Hooper, Sam Keir, Scaps, Shardul, Smurtworm, Socrates, Super Nanny 089, Sweet Sea, Tony Little Man, Volta, Voodoo Mumbo, Boyfriend Skiba, Will Wade, Wilson, Tef, Wolfie, Yellow 4, Yorkers, Zach, and Zatlock 2. Thank you all for your support. See you guys all in two days.